dear students welcome to my second class on module 3 fourier transforms in this lecture video we'll be discussing a few more problems on infinite fourier transform and fourier sine and cosine transforms example number 5 find the fourier transform of f of x is equal to a square minus x square with the condition mod x is less than or equal to a and 0 for mod x is greater than a and hence deduce that in direction 0 to infinity sin x minus x cos x by x cube into cos x pi 2 dx will be equal to 3 pi by 16 and one more is integral 0 to infinity sin t minus t cos t by t cube into dt will be equal to pi by 4 so first we will be expanding the given equation f of x so f of x is equal to 0 for minus infinity less than x less than minus a and it is a square minus x square for minus a less than or equal to x and less than or equal to plus a and it is 0 for a less than x less than infinity so now take the Fourier transform of the function f of x and which is given by f of x is equal to 1 by square root of 2 pi integral minus infinity to plus infinity f of x e power i s x dx so f of x will be equal to 1 by square root of 2 pi integral minus infinity to minus a into 0 e power i s x dx plus integral minus a to plus a a square minus x square e power i s x dx plus integral a to infinity into 0 e power i s x dx so so this first and third function is 0 here so completely it will become 0 so we got f of s is equal to 1 by square root of 2 pi integral minus a to plus a a square minus x square into e power i s x dx so expanding this e power i s x as cos x plus i sin x so we got f of s is equal to 1 by square root of 2 pi integral minus a to plus a a square minus x square into cos x plus i sin s x dx so now expanding this so we got f of x is equal to 1 by square root of 2 pi integral minus a to plus a a square minus x square cos s x dx plus i into integration minus a to plus a a square minus x square into sin s x dx so as we know that this a square minus x square into sin s x is an odd function so this complete integral will become 0 that is integral minus a to plus a a square minus x square sin s x dx will be equal to 0 so therefore we got f of s is equal to 1 by square root of 2 pi a square minus x square cos s x dx and this is an even function now so it will become 2 times of integral 0 to a a square minus x square into cos s x dx with a constant 1 by square root of 2 pi so now to integrate this i am going to apply the Bernoulli's condition so we got 2 by square root of 2 pi into a square minus x square sin s x by s minus of minus 2 x into minus cos s x by s square plus minus 2 into minus sin s x by x cube with the limit 0 to a f of s is equal to now so we'll be getting after applying the limit f of s is equal to s2 divided by square root of 2 pi so into 0 minus 2a into cos as by s square plus 2 sin as by s cube for lower limit the complete term will become 0 so therefore we got f of s is equal to 2 by square root of 2 pi into 2 into sin as by s cube minus 2a into cos as by s square so therefore 4 by square root of 2 pi into sin a s by s cube minus a cos a s by s square we got. So after simplifying we got 4 divided by square root of 2 pi sin a s by s cube minus a s into cos a s by s cube. So taking s cube common factor we got f of s is equal to 4 by square root of 2 pi sin a s minus a s cos a s by s cube. So now to simplify this part, so that is integration 0 to t sin t minus t cos t by t cube into dt is equal to pi by 4. I am going to apply the inverse Fourier transform formula. So take the formula f of x is equal to 1 by square root of 2 pi integral uh, minus infinity to plus infinity f of s e power minus i s x d. So in the place of f of s, I am going to replace this equation. So we got f of x is equal to 1 by square root of 2 pi integral minus infinity to plus infinity 4 by square root of 2 pi into sin a s minus a s cos a s by s cube into e power minus i s x dx so now i'll be replacing x is equal to 0 a is equal to 1 so we'll be getting f of 0 is equal to 4 by 2 pi 
इंटेग्रेशन माइनस इन्फिनिटी टू प्लस इन्फिनिटी साइन एस माइनस एस कॉस एस बाई एस क्यू इंटू ई पॉर माइनस जीरो इंटू डी एस सो इन द गिवन फंक्शन इफ आर ई प्लस एक्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो आई गॉट एफ ऑफ जीरो इज इक्वल टू वन सो वी गॉट वन इज इक्वल टू फोर बाई टू पाई इंटेग्रल माइनस इन्फिनिटी टू प्लस इन्फिनिटी साइन एस माइनस एस कॉस एस बाई एस क्यूब इंटू डी एस एंड नाउ बाई Uh, so expanding this, so it is an even function. So we got one is equal to two by pi, two into integration zero to infinity sine s minus s by s cos s by s cube into ds. We can write or uh, one is equal to four by pi integral zero to infinity sine s minus s cos s by s cube into ds. We can write. So therefore we got uh, integral zero to infinity sine s minus s cos s by s cube ds is equal to pi by four. By taking s is equal to t, we got Integration zero to infinity sine t minus t cos t by t cube dt is equal to pi by four. So to find the next part, that is integration zero to infinity sine x minus x cos x by x cube into cos x by two dx is equal to three pi by sixteen. So to solve this also, I am going to use the inverse Fourier transform formula. So first write the formula f of x is equal to one by square root of two pi integration minus infinity to plus infinity f of s e power minus i s x dx. So now Uh, so I'll be getting what f of x is equal to one by square root of two pi integration minus infinity to plus infinity four divided by square root of two pi sine a s minus a s cos a s by s cube into e power minus i s x dx. So f of x will be equal to four by two pi integration minus infinity to plus infinity sine a s minus a s cos a s by s cube and expanding this as cos a x minus i sine s x into d s. So now On simplifying further, we got f of x is equal to two by pi integration minus infinity to plus infinity sine a s minus a s cos a s by s cube into cos s x dx minus i into integration minus infinity to plus infinity sine a s minus a s cos a s by s cube into sine s s x dx we got. And this complete part is an odd function. This complete part is an odd function, so therefore this integral will become zero here. So we got f of x is equal to two by pi. Integral minus infinity to plus infinity sine a s minus a cos a s by s cube into cos a x d x we got. So therefore, uh, so we got finally f of x is equal to two by pi into two into integration zero to infinity sine a s minus a s cos a s by s cube into cos s x d x we got. Replacing x is equal to one by two a is equal to one. So we'll be getting f of one by two is equal to four by pi integration zero to infinity sine s. Minus s cos s by s cube into cos s by 2 ds. To find this value in the given equation, replace x is equal to 1 by 2. So we got f of 1 by 2 is equal to 1 square minus 1 by 2 whole square. So it will be equal to 1 minus 1 by 4, that is 3 by 4. So therefore, 3 by 4 is equal to 4 by pi. Integration 0 to infinity sine s minus s cos s by s cube into cos s by 2 ds. So it will be equal to uh, integral 0 to infinity sine s minus s cos s by s cube. Into cos s by 2 ds is equal to 3 pi by 16. So now changing s to x, we'll be getting integral 0 to infinity sine x minus x cos s by x cube into cos x by 2 ds will be equal to 3 pi by 16. Next problem: find the Fourier transform of f of x is equal to 1 minus x square with the condition mod x is greater than or equal to 1 and 0 for mod x is less than 1. And hence deduce that uh, integral 0 to infinity sine t minus t cos t by t cube dt is equal to pi by 4. So this problem is same like the previous problem only in the place of a we have only one. So now expand the given equation first. So we'll be getting f of x is equal to zero for minus infinity less than x less than minus one, and it is one minus x square for minus one less than or equal to x and less than or equal to one, and it is zero for one less than x less than infinity. So now write the formula for your transform. It is given by f of x is equal to one by square root of two pi integral minus infinity to plus infinity f of x e power i s x d x. So now in the place of f of x, uh, use the previous function that, that is zero and one minus x square and zero with the limits these these limits. So this first and third function will become zero because the function is zero here. So we got only f of x is equal to one by Square root of two pi integral minus one to plus one one minus x square into e power i s x d x we got. So therefore, f of s will be equal to one by square root of two pi integral minus one to plus one one minus x square and expanding e power i s x as cos x x plus i sine s x d x. So now 
uh, expand the integral. So we got f of s is equal to 1 by square root of 2 pi integral minus 1 to plus 1, 1 minus x square root to cos sx dx plus i into integral minus 1 to plus 1, 1 minus x square root to sin sx dx. So therefore we got 1 minus x square sin sx is an odd function. So therefore we will be getting uh, the integral minus 1 to plus 1, 1 minus x square sin sx dx will become 0. So now therefore we got f of s is equal to 1 by square root of 2, 2 pi integral minus 1 to plus 1, 1 minus x square cos x dx. So therefore all simplifying this further we will be getting 1 by square root of 2 pi 2 into integral 0 to 1, 1 minus x square cos x dx. So therefore it is 2 by square root of 2 pi 1 minus x square into sin sx by x into minus 2x minus cos x by s square plus minus 2 into sin uh, minus sin sx by x cube to the limit 0 to 1. So after applying the limit, so by applying upper limit, I will be getting f of s is equal to 2 by square root of 2 pi 0 minus uh, 2 into cos s by s square plus 2 into sin s by s cube and for lower limit 0, the complete term will become 0 here. So all simplify this further, we got f of s is equal to 2 by square root of 2 pi into 2 into sin s by s cube minus 2 cos s by s square it will be equal to 4 by square root of 2 pi sin s by s cube minus cos s by s square this will be equal to 4 by square root of 2 pi sin s by s cube minus s cos s by s cube so by taking s cube common factor we got f of s is equal to 4 by square root of 2 pi sin s minus s cos s by s cube so now to deduce uh, integral 0 to infinity sin t minus t cos t by t cube dt is equal to pi by 4. I am going to use the inverse Fourier transform formula. So first write the formula f of x is equal to 1 by square root of 2 pi integral 0 to infinity f of s e power minus i sx dx. So now in the place of f of s uh, take the previous answer. So we got f of x is equal to 1 by square root of 2 pi integral minus infinity to plus infinity 4 by square root of 2 pi into sin s minus s cos s by s cube into e power minus i sx dx. So by replacing x is equal to 0 in the previous equation, so we got f of 0 is equal to 4 by 2 pi integral minus infinity to plus infinity sin s minus s cos s by s cube into e power minus 0 ds. So by expanding this further, we will be getting 1 is equal to 4 by 2 pi integral minus infinity to plus infinity sin s minus s cos s by s cube into ds or 1 what is equal to 2 by pi into 2 times of integral 0 to infinity sin s minus s cos s by s cube into ds and this will be equal to 1 is equal to 4 by pi integral 0 to infinity sin s minus s cos s by s cube into ds therefore we got the integral 0 to infinity sin s minus s cos s by s cube ds is equal to pi by 4 so now changing all s variables in terms of t variables we got the integral 0 to infinity sin t minus t cos t by t cube into dt will be equal to pi divided by 4 Next problem, find the Fourier transform of e power minus a mod x for a is greater than 0 and hence deduce that integration 0 to infinity cos mx by x square plus 1 will be equal to pi by 2 e power minus m. So to expand this, so first you take the Fourier transform formula. So that is f of x is equal to uh, 1 by square root of 2 pi integration minus infinity to plus infinity f of x e power i sx dx. So we will be getting f of s is equal to 1 by square root of 2 pi integration minus infinity to plus infinity e power minus a mod x into e power i sx dx I am taking. So now I am going to uh, so expand the equation. So by expanding e power i x as cos x plus i sin x so we got f of s is equal to 1 by square root of 2 pi integral minus infinity to plus infinity e power minus a mod x cos x plus i sin x into dx. So expanding this further integral we got f of s is equal to 1 by square root of 2 pi integration minus infinity to plus infinity e power minus a mod x cos x dx plus i into integration minus infinity to plus infinity e power minus a mod x into sin sx dx and we know that this e power minus a mod, uh, a mod x sin x is an odd function so this will become completely 0 so we got an equation like f of s is equal to 1 by square root of 2 pi integration minus infinity to plus infinity e power minus, mod, minus a mod x cos x dx and expanding this we got f of s is equal to 1 by square root of 2 pi 2 into integral 0 to infinity e power minus a mod x cos x dx we got. 
So on simplifying this further, we got f of s is equal to 2 by square root of 2 pi into integral 0 to infinity e power minus ax cos ax dx and this will be equal to f of s is equal to 2 by square root of 2 pi into a divided by s square plus a square. So now to find, to find the value of uh, the integral 0 to infinity cos mx by x square plus 1 dx is equal to pi by 2 e power minus mod n. I am going to apply the inverse Fourier transform formula. That is f of x is equal to 1 by square root of 2 pi integral minus infinity to plus infinity f of s is equal to e power minus i s x dx. So e power minus a mod x will be equal to 1 by square root of 2 pi integration minus infinity to plus infinity 2 divided by square root of 2 pi into a by s square plus a square into e power minus i s x ds. So on simplifying this by expanding e power minus i x as cos x plus uh, cos x minus i sin x and uh, expand the integral we got the equation like uh, e power minus a mod x is equal to 2 by pi sorry a by pi integration minus infinity to plus infinity 1 by s square plus a square into cos x ds minus i into integral minus infinity to plus infinity 1 by s square plus a square into sin sx ds so this 1 by s square plus a square into sin sx is an odd function so it will become 0 so we got only e power minus mod ax is equal to 2 by pi sorry a by pi into 2 into integral 0 to infinity cos sx by s square plus a square ds we got because cos is an even function so finally we got uh, integration 0 to infinity cos sx by s square plus a square ds will be equal to pi by 2a e power minus mod ax so it will be equal to integration 0 to infinity cos sx by s square plus a square ds is equal to pi by 2a into e power minus a into mod x so now by replacing a is equal to 1 and replace s by x and x by m so we get uh, the integral 0 to infinity cos mx by x square plus 1 dx will be equal to pi by 2 into e power minus mod m is the required solution. Thank you.